In the gospel, we hear of the poor widow, and it's hard to imagine completely what kind of life she may have had. But we know the obvious, she's lost her husband, and if she's poor, it might be that she doesn't have any support from any children. She might be simply alone. Do you know someone who might be in similar circumstances? Do you know someone who slowly, who supported someone, not only financially, but just being a family member, might be very similar to this poor widow? Do we know anyone who perhaps, as we get older, not able to get out their home, their apartment, where they might be living? We know how hard it's been for all of us in this last year. Imagine someone who literally is not able to go out to their home, their apartment, where they live in assisted living. And today I invite you to pray for the person that might come to mind for you. There are many. They're in this parish and every parish we know. And they're people who are just trying to sustain themselves. And as Jesus saw in the temple, this woman who came up, who was known evidently as a widow, and he saw the few little, we would call them maybe pennies, maybe less than, whatever, less than a dollar, whatever it might be, minimal. We would think it's hardly anything. In fact, a lot of times we walk by and some people want to pick up a quarter or a dime or a nickel or a penny if they see it on the floor. And yet, here's someone where everything is precious. And whatever little they have is not necessarily just for themselves. The generosity of the poor widow is an example for all of us to be aware, yes, financially, what is the ways that we might support whatever it might be, the parish or other charitable organizations, supporting family members or friends, people we know, and that's not easy to do, it's very sensitive, but nonetheless, sometimes it's necessary, but also, what is it we sometimes think, well, I don't have much to offer, whether it be the parish again or others, and yet what little we have goes so far. And sometimes it isn't about money, is it? Sometimes it's about time that we might give to, again, someone who is overlooked, who doesn't have anybody who spends time with them, who doesn't take the opportunity. And maybe it's other ways that God is inviting us whether it is time or our talents or our treasure, but to be aware of what God is inviting. I pray with this, and I, I realize most God is the only one who really sees who we're offering. Oh yes, whatever charitable organization, they may send you a thank you. That's very good. But many times, really, you and I know that. We're simply just being generous. We're simply just helping someone else. We don't need to be noticed. We don't have to be noticed. And that's what Jesus was trying to point out to the scribes. They were trying to show how they were doing everything right. But evidently, it was hollow. It didn't have meaning. It wasn't serving God. It was serving themselves. And so this morning, let's pray for that gift, for ourselves to be more selfless, and to be aware of those around us who might be in need, who just a little gesture goes so far because you took the time, you noticed, you cared, you're doing what God invites of you.